In this video, I'll show you how to customize the squeeze function of your Apple Pencil Pro because you're not limited to the one that is assigned by default. You can change it to almost anything. So let's take a look. So the first step, if you want to customize this feature, is to go into the settings and both the Apple Pencil Pro and your iPad should be already paired together. So let me go in settings. And then over here, you're gonna go on the left side Go down until you see Apple Pencil. From here, tap on this. And on the right side, you're gonna have multiple options opening to you. And the one we want to customize is the squeeze function. So we're gonna go over here and click on it. By default, it should be show tool palette. But there's other options you can select. My favorite is definitely the shortcut. If you click on shortcut, this page will open up and you can customize it by yourself to almost anything. Here you have some examples, but you're not limited to the one that you're seeing over here. You can create your own personal shortcut. I won't show you in this video how to create, but there is already a lot of them already made for you that you can simply select to use. One that many people are using, if we go down here, is the record one. Let me show over here, record voice memo. Even if you have opened any apps on your iPad at any moment, take your pen, squeeze it, and it will start recording a voice memo. So if somebody is talking about something very important, you can squeeze your pen and record and, and record in just a matter of a second. For that, select record. And just to demonstrate, okay, let me exit here. Let's say I'm using my iPad and whoops, somebody is saying something important. I want to record it. Take your Apple Pencil, squeeze it, and it will automatically start recording as you see. One last thing I want to show you if I go back over here is the sensitivity. Not many people know, but you can customize the sensitivity of the squeeze. So if you prefer squeezing very hard to register, put it all the way to the right side. And now you have to press a lot more than uh, before to make it happen. Or if you want it to make it very easy, put it uh, towards the left side. And now I barely have to, cl I mean, to click to squeeze it and it registered. So again, this is something you can play with. And if you don't like the squeeze function, you can also simply turn it off. So thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a comment down below, subscribe, like, check my Amazon affiliate links. This is a great way to support my channel and I'll see you in the next video.